accidents involving crawler cranes have been increasing over the past three years. Most crawler crane accidents lead to serious injuries. Crawler crane related accidents include rollovers, collisions, falling, and getting stuck. Let's take a look at the basic items and inspection methods for crawler cranes. First, let's take a look at the definition of a crawler crane and crawler crane types. A crawler crane refers to a crane fitted with a crawler that can be moved to any location, and it is equipped with a boom for lifting heavy items. Crawler cranes are categorized into lattice boom cranes or hydraulic cranes depending on the boom type. Next, here are the main structure and safety devices. A crawler crane primarily consists of the following. A hook used to lift cargo using a sling. A lattice boom which is used to move the hook to the desired position. A turntable used to rotate the upper portion of the crane. Wire ropes wound on a drum to lift and lower the cargo. Track for moving the crane to the work site and a counterweight in the rear for maintaining balance of the crane. Main safety devices include an overload limiter that signals an alarm when the cargo exceeds the weight limit and stops the hoisting operation. An overwinding proof device that signals an alarm when the hook is raised above a certain level. A reverse rotation proof device that prevents the drum from reverse rotating when the brakes malfunction. A derricking limiter that maintains the safe level of the boom. And a hook safety latch that prevents unintended disengagement of the sling rope from the hook. Next, here are the pre-operation inspections. Crawler cranes are inspected periodically once every three years after initial registration, according to the Construction Equipment Management Act the operator must possess a crane operator's license. When the forklift is brought into the site, the construction equipment work plan, construction equipment registration, crawler crane operator's license, insurance card and other necessary documents must be reviewed. When working with mobile cranes, the soil conditions of the work site, suitability of work plan based on specifications, sufficient distance with high voltage power cables, and safety measures according to the wind speed must be checked at all times. Next, inspection method using standard safety checklist. Before inspecting the crane, the inspector must wear the necessary personal protective equipment and must check for any hazards in the surrounding area. A crane must be inspected on a flat and firm ground. With the exception of operational status checks, all inspections must be performed while the engine is turned off. First, the inspection method for overload limiter is as follows. Make sure that the work radius and max load matches the specifications or actual measurements, an indication of the monitor, and make sure that the overload limiter has not been tampered with. Monitor malfunctions may result in failure to detect overload and may result in the crane rolling over. Next, the inspection method for the overwinding proof device is as follows. Make sure that signals an alarm when the hook is raised above a certain level and stops rising. Failure of overwinding proof device may result in deviation or breakage of the wire ropes and may result in dropping the materials. Next, the inspection method for the derricking limiter is as follows. Turn on the derricking limiter and make sure that the boom is not operating. Tampering with the derricking limiter may cause the boom to be raised beyond safe angles 
and may result in critical accidents such as rollovers. Next, the inspection method for the hook and sheath are as follows. The hook safety latch must open with ease and the sheath must be free of deformations and wear. Damages to the hook safety latch may result in the sling to come loose while lifting, leading the cargo to fall. Here are wire rope inspection methods. Inspect the wire rope visually and use a tester to check for wear and tear and other damages. Damaged wire rope may cause the hook or cargo to fall and it must be inspected regularly. Next, the inspection method for the overwinding proof device is as follows. Activate the overwinding proof device. Make sure that the stopper engages the ratchet wheel and stops the drop. Overwinding proof device malfunction may result in boom or cargo falling. The inspection method for the lattice boom is as follows. Make sure that the boom and connections are free from cracks, damages, or corrosion, and that the connections are secure. Further developments and defects of the lattice boom may result in the boom to bend or break, resulting in critical accidents. Next, the inspection method for counterweights are as follows. Make sure that the number and capacity of the counterweights matches the manual and check that no extra counterweights have been added. Adding extra counterweight may result in malfunctions and also voids insurance claims in case of an accident. Next, the inspection method for the driving mechanism is as follows. Make sure that the track shoes, rollers, pins and bolts are free of damages or deformation and installed securely. Sagging tracks, missing shoe mounting pins, and deformations to the lower rollers are the primary causes of track shoe removal. Lastly, the brake inspection method is as follows. Make sure that the brake is engaged when the control lever is put into neutral position and check if there is any brake pad wear or insufficient braking force. Excessive gaps between the brake lining and the drum or uneven wears may lower braking performance and lead to serious accidents. Here are the safety management points. Overload limiter must not be tampered with. Always obey the weight capacity when lifting. And place steel plates on the ground to prevent rollovers. Set up a work perimeter and prohibit other workers from entering the area. Make sure that the operator never leaves the cabin while working. Listed above, basic safety rules must be obeyed at all times. On site, the supervisor must review safety beforehand through work plans and other documents before the crawler crane is brought into the site. The supervisor must also prevent possible accidents by inspecting it correctly before and during operation. This has been the inspection method using standard safety inspection checklist for crawler cranes and safety management points. Thank you.